Here, in this video, I will show you how to use Wix, how to create an online store, and how to maintain one. So first, I'll tell you a little bit about Wix. Wix is a website that you can use to not only create websites, but also host them. So it's really nice for anyone that may not know a lot about online websites, making them, coding, or anything. This is basically a simple tool to help you get around it all, and it's great because it has everything right in one. So, in order to start making your website, here I have a couple of my own. However, normally, you, if you were just beginning, you would not have them. So, we're going to start by creating a new site. Now, what's nice with Wix is that they give you templates that you can go off of. This is super helpful if you know you need some ideas or you just need some inspiration. So, they have all different types and all of them look different. So let's just pick an easy one. We'll start with this one. So we're just going to choose to edit it. Okay. If you are a first time user to Wix, they will give you Welcome the to Wix. To You're on your way to creating a beautiful video. website. <laughs> However, we're just going to skip that for now since that's basically what I'm trying to do. So, we have website coming soon. And what's nice is you want to make a change, you just click right on it, it'll come up, edit text. You can do that. And now you have your bar of bold, italicized, underline, size, font, spacing, everything you need right here, font color. So we'll just say our web store. So now what we want to do is actually set up our store. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to add, we're going to go to online store easy enough okay for us they added a new page to our website and look at that they made a layout for us just to give us an idea of what it's gonna look like show you how to set stuff up so it's cool cuz you can kinda see what it's gonna look like before you even do anything to it so now we'll play around with actually doing our own. So we're going to go to the app settings. So after clicking that, when your page loads, this is what you're originally going to get. So we'll get to collections later. So what we're going to do now is manage store. So this screen will load and we can see there's options on the side which I will work through but here we can see these are the products that they had just uploaded for us to see on the example. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete those because we don't need them. We're making our own store. So after those are deleted Okay, and with a blank page, we can now add a new product. So, I'm going to start with the image just because I basically want to show what we're working with. So, we're going to scroll down to where it's product images. We're going to click to add a product image. 
So here are pictures that I have already uploaded. Wix also gives you free images to use on your websites. However, none of them are really any that we would want for our store. So we're going to upload new images. Now what I did is I made just a folder here of a couple images to use. However, normally you could obviously search wherever your pictures are. You could select all of them, click open. However, I've actually already uploaded the pictures. So we're going to have them right here. What you can then do if you want, you can make a folder. We'll call it clothing store. Now we can drag our images into the clothing store folder. That way it will just keep things more organized down the road. In case, like me, you end up with a lot of photos. You don't want to have to get confused. So, I'm missing one, I'm missing the shorts. Okay, now we have them all there. So we just want to add one image to start, so we'll start with the t-shirt. Keep it simple. So we added the image that we want to use, and then we're going to go back up. So product name, we're going to add one. So we'll just call it t-shirt. Next, you set the price that you want. You can do it for whatever you want. We will say that the t-shirt is going to be $10. This selects if you want it visibly on the store or not because say you add a product but you run out of stock and you want to take it off. You don't want to have to delete the whole product so instead you can just make it invisible so it's still in your collection however it's not going to appear online to your shoppers. So we want this to be visible. Now if you want we can add a short description of your product so just for our sake we'll say a 100% cotton t-shirt comes in a variety of colors. That's just so we'll be able to see what having a description looks like. As we go down we can now do product attributes if we want. So if we want to set a discount for the product we can do that, discounted price, and now with collections. Collections would basically be a better way to organize your products if you do have a lot of them. Kind of how I did with just the images. But say you were a store that sold cell phones. You could do a collection called Verizon and have all the Verizon phones and then all the AT&T phones and then all the Sprint phones. Or you could even do iPhones as the collection and then do Samsung. But basically, collections are just a better way to keep yourself organized. So that's not something we're going to use right now, but it's definitely something that comes in handy. So then going down, we have inventory and options. You can either track the inventory or don't track the inventory. Of course, this matters if you, say, have 40 shirts that, 40 shirts that you want to sell. You can track the inventory to basically keep up with if you know it's there or not. And, of course, we're going to say that we have this in stock. Now, because we're doing clothing, this product does have options like size, color, or material. So in order to show you, I'm going to drop this down, and we can do a list, or we can do color. So, since I send the description, it comes in a variety of colors. We'll start with that. So, what we're going to use is color. And we're going to say that the t-shirt comes in blue and what's cool is it comes up and then you can select the actual blue you want so do you want a royal blue you want a lighter blue we'll go with lighter now we'll say it comes in red red simple enough we'll choose red then we'll say green green you can change as well we'll say it's like a brighter green and that's enough for now We'll add another option now. We'll do this one as a list, and we're going to do size. That way you can choose if you want it in a small, a medium, a large, or an extra large. 
So that gives us our options there. Now we can do this if we want. If we want to say if the shirt was a special shirt and it had special care instructions like do not put in dryer, we could do that here in an info section, but we don't really need that for ours. So what we're going to do is save our product. After it's saved, we can now see we have this fully set up. So what we're going to do is for now we're just going to X this out to see. Oh, and now we have in our store we have our t-shirt. So now let's add another product. So we're going to go back, we're going to manage the store, and oh, it's different now. It's a list. So let's add another product. We're going to add sweatpants. Price, we're going to say $20. Let's add our sweatpants. Make sure that our image comes up. It does. So we're going to go down. We're going to add a product option. We'll start with color, like we said before. These come in gray, or they come in black. And we'll add size, small, medium, or large. OK. We're going to go down. We're going to save. OK, we're going to close. So we now have two items in our store. We'll just add one more product for show. We're going to say shorts. We'll say $15. Add the image. And we'll just say they only come in one color this time. So we're just going to do size, small, medium, large. OK. We're going to save. We're going to close. OK. This is basically just saying that we should give our site a name, which we won't do for now. We're just going to continue editing. So close this. So now we can see we have multiple options. When you go here, we now have all of our items in the store. So I'm going to bring us back to the store settings. We're going to manage the store. And I'm now I'll show you just collections would be right now we just have one collection but if you were to separate them into multiple collections they would be here go down to orders and we have no orders just yet but in a little while I'm gonna show you an example of what the order page would look like we're gonna go down to coupons so if we wanted we could add a coupon and say Half price. The coupon code can be half. So, do we want it to be US dollar discount, percent discount, or free shipping? And since we said half price, we'll say it's a percent discount and we're going to say 50% off. If you want, you can start the promotion on a certain day. You can even say tomorrow. And if you want, you can set an end date. However, we'll just say for now that has an end date. And you can even limit the coupon uses to one use or however many you want. But this way, a customer can only use the coupon once. They can't use it multiple times. And we're going to create the coupon. So that's super cool and something you can definitely make use of. So there's obviously other coupons we can make, but 
that's just what we're going to use for now. And of course, you can turn it off or turn it on how you want. Now we'll look at payments. Now there are different ways you can set up payments. Authorized on net is similar to PayPal. I'm sure a lot more of you are familiar with PayPal. So I feel as though PayPal is the easiest one to use. All you do is you would set up a PayPal account for your business. You connect it with your business. And PayPal does take a small amount, but it's kind of the price you pay. But Or if you want, you can do an offline payment. It basically would just send an email to the business whenever someone makes a purchase and you instruct to the buyer how to pay if you want a check or whatever. And so obviously this is free because there's no other person in the mix, but you do have to actually handle the money rather than PayPal is just given directly to you. So these are different options that you can use. Then we want to look at shipping and tax. This is you can set up your shipping. So say we just want to keep it in the United States. We'll say I only want to ship to specific regions and we'll say the United States. We'll say all 51 states is fine. So now we'll set a shipping rule. What will you charge for shipping? So let's just say we'll apply it to all of our regions. Standard shipping like put in and we'll say just five dollar base fee and of course depending on your business you can say what the estimated delivery time is you don't have to put this in but we'll say seven to ten business days tax is also basically the same as shipping if you want to add tax you just add a tax rule you can apply it to all regions. If you do want to make it simplify it, you could. But keep it simple. We're just going to say apply this rule to all regions. And we'll just say 6% tax rate. So now because you did that, that will automatically get added in to the cost of the product that your customer is purchasing. So that's basically everything we can do here in there. We'll wait for our products to come up and if you want any time at all when you're working on Wix if you click preview it'll basically show you what your website's gonna look like. So this is basically what it would look like if it's up online and running. So let's say we want to buy a t-shirt. We click on the t-shirt it'll come up and what we did here, we had added our different color options, so you can choose to have it in blue, red, or green. We'll say we want an extra large shirt. You can select the quantity you want, we'll say we just need one. We're going to add it to our cart. What's cool is it pops up on the side here, you've added your first item and your cart. And so say now I want to view my cart. You can click right here, or if not, we'll make it go down and What's actually hidden here behind this Wix is a little cart. It's a little shopping cart. So if you click on that, it'll do the same thing. So we'll just say, we'll view our cart. And look, here we have our t-shirt, color green, size extra large, and price. So, you know, we did those coupons earlier, so let's apply our coupon. We said the coupon code was half. Oh, see, it's not working yet because we have it set to start tomorrow. So that's what, how you would add the coupon, though. And from here, you want you can either add more quantity, you can do more, and if you want, you can check out. Of course, here in the preview mode, it's not going to let us do anything because you have to actually set up your thing, your account first. So for now, that's there. But I'll give you an example of what it would actually look like in a live version. This is a website that I have actually already created. It's for a company and they have an online store which is up and running and everything. So what I did is I went into the store and I added two items into the cart just so I can demonstrate what this looks like actually live. So we have the two items. It shows what our total is. 
But since we want to ship the items, what we do is we're shipping to the U.S. and say we want to ship to Massachusetts. We select Massachusetts. What this does for us is it automatically calculates the shipping fees that we had set up and the tax fees as well. So now we have our new total. What we can do is check out. And basically, well, we have this set up to run with PayPal. So it opens up to this screen. And basically, it has our total here. It shows us everything. And here, you can either pay with your PayPal account, or I could simply plug in my credit card and all my information. So that's just to show you how a live version would actually run. And another thing I wanted to show you was if you go into the store our order page on the one that I have this is basically what the order screen would look like I told you earlier that I would show you what one actually does look like so basically here what we have is all orders that have been placed and if you click to open it it will tell you basically up top it will tell you the buyer details payment details and shipping details and down below it has the items and if we want to complete the order we can complete the order if not we can just go back and we have our info here that we want so basically that was just I just wanted to show you what a live one actually looks like when it's up and running so we're back on our store that we set up and basically I just wanted to show you one last thing that if you have your items up and you actually want to edit them, you're going to right click to put up the settings. You're going to pull up the actual settings. And then we're going to manage the store. And say we wanted to change the shorts because our shorts actually ended up coming in another color. So we can add the option of color. We're going to say gray or white. And done. And that would basically be how to edit a product that you already did. We're going to close this. So from here, another thing I want to show you is just how to rearrange the order of your product. So, of course, it's pretty simple. It just says to rearrange the order of your projects, click here. But say we wanted our t-shirt first, we can move that, we want our shorts last, there we go. And it's literally that simple, so that is definitely something very easy. Basically, this is really all there is to using Wix to create an online store and maintain an online store. It's really nothing that hard. Basically, anything you really need to do, if you right click, click on settings, click manage store, it's all basically done in here. Like I showed you, you have products, collections, orders, coupons, payments, shipping and tax. Wix is very user friendly. Basically, if you play around with it a bit, you'll basically be able to figure out anything you need to know. Wix also has a wiki, so makes it easy that if other people have had the same problem as you, you can just go look there and see if hopefully maybe someone solved that issue that you've had. But I do hope that this video has been of some help, and if you do need to create an online store, you like to use Wix and hopefully use some of the tips that I gave you. So, thanks for watching.